Welcome everybody to the TechSoup new member orientation and question and answers. So we hope you come with a lot of questions and we hope you will leave with a lot of answers. I'll let you know how you can engage today by showing you the engagement slides. Um, please type your question in the Q&A. We have some team members here that will answer your questions um, throughout the webinar. We may stop at some time and answer some questions. We are going to email this, the video replay and the slides to you within 40 hours, probably tomorrow. That way you can show your other team members that may have missed this um, session. If you need the closed caption, I love closed caption. I'm watching that on Amazon and everything from now on. Uh, just go ahead and click on that CC button and you'll be able to use your closed caption. I'm going to turn this over to Nick. I'm going to read the signs. I'm the webinar producer here. I'm going to turn it over to Nick then, our senior marketing manager. Go ahead, Nick. Well, hi, everybody. Um, welcome to today's uh, new member orientation for TechSoup. My name is Nick Finn. I'm a senior director here at TechSoup, and we try to do these webinars once, once a month. Um, and the idea is, first of all, just to say welcome to the new folks and the new nonprofits that have joined TechSoup over the last month. Um, and then also to give you more of a, a, an understanding and a clear view of all the different ways TechSoup is trying to help nonprofits and maybe some paths um, that your specific nonprofit might be able to get some help from TechSoup, depending on what your needs are at the moment. Um, you've already met the wonderful Aretha Simons who opened the session. This is me here with a slightly less awkward hair in the past. Uh, we're also gonna be joined today by Kelly Garrett and Kevin Mulhall. Um, who are uh, members of the TechSoup customer success and client services teams. And um, they represent the live human beings at TechSoup who can help your nonprofit when you have times of need around any kind of technology. Um, with that, let's get rolling. I'm going to start with some buzzwords that you will often hear kicked around sort of nonprofit technology circles. Um, and uh, just want to bring those to the forefront and not assume that everybody is using the same language or meaning the same thing, but I want to give us some common ground. Um, one phrase that you may have heard in the nonprofit tech sphere is this notion of digital transformation and everybody's transforming everything that they do digitally. Um, and uh, it can sound a little overwhelming and intimidating, but but really... Uh, digital transformation is the process just of your nonprofit becoming more tech savvy, of using the tools and technologies that are available to you through TechSoup and other places um, to do a better job serving your members, serving the public that you might serve, um, organizing your internal work, maybe uh, designing things so that they look good, maybe running your website, using SMS texting. All these different technologies that are available to nonprofits, as you use them, you are engaging in the practice of digital transformation, becoming more and more tech savvy with your nonprofit. Another phrase you'll heard you'll hear used quite a bit is civil society. Um, we use that phrase more so globally, and TechSoup is a global organization. Uh, but civil society is really non-governmental people and organizations, right? Um, and so if you're not big business and you're not big government, um, but you're still playing a role and trying to make the world a better place and help people and provide services and support for them, you're civil society. Um, you, are, you are the people in the world who are trying to lift everybody else up. Um, and then a third phrase you'll hear uh, bandied around quite a bit in nonprofit tech circles is the notion of cloud adoption. Um, and again, it can sound a little bit more intimidating than it really is. Cloud adoption is really as you go through the process of digital transformation, you lean more and more on the tools that are available to you um, through the World Wide Web, the internet, right, being online. And so, you know, in the old days, perhaps you use software that you got on a CD-ROM and that was loaded on a computer, um, these days, in 99% of the cases, you're downloading software directly off the internet, um, and you're probably backing up your own data into the internet, um, and uh, your members and the public can interact with you through some kind of web-based portal. That's, that's all cloud adoption is. So no need to be intimidated by these phrases. Um, I just want to get that piece out of the way. So let's talk about what is TechSoup. 
Well, first of all, um, most of the folks on today's webinar are based in the United States. So I'll put a little caveat around this that TechSoup, as I just said, is a global organization, but we're going to focus specifically on how it exists in the United States and what it does in the U.S. Um, so like most of you, first of all, uh, TechSoup is a 501c3 nonprofit organization in the United States, right? We are a nonprofit like you. We know what it means to propose a budget, to um, run programming. Um, we know what it means to operate with a budget that is maybe not as large as like a big business or a corporation would be, um, and, and how to do more with less sometimes. I think that's a familiar feeling for almost everybody who works in a nonprofit industry. Um, and those of us who work at TechSoup, as well as the mission statement of the organization itself, uh, are really devoted to making the, a more equitable planet, making a better world for everyone. Um, and in the U.S., we do that by serving nonprofits and providing access to technology and resources that might be harder to get otherwise. Um, our mission is to support nonprofits as they work with technology to help build a more equitable planet. We do have a perspective. We believe technology can be a powerful tool. Um, of course, we also know that technology can be expensive and there are other blockers to its use. Um, but we believe that nonprofits, when we can help them get past those blockers, can really do some amazing things by leveraging the power of technology itself. Um, one of the ways we help nonprofits is that we host a catalog of affordable tech products from major brands like Microsoft, Dell, Intuit, Adobe, and many, many more. Um, this catalog holds philanthropic offers from these companies. Um, they all have a basic desire to support nonprofits and support them with their own technology. Um, and so uh, we'll negotiate pricing with these companies and put it in our catalog and hopefully help nonprofits save a little bit of money. So that's one of the first things that we can do to help you with, with your tech. Um, more and more these days, as we all know, uh, it's not enough to just get new tech. Um, in fact, technology probably isn't very helpful unless you also go through the process of figuring out exactly which license you need. How do you install it locally? How do you manage these software and hardware acquisitions? Um, and uh, make sure that your staff and volunteers and the public understand how to use them. So more and more these days, TechSoup provides services to help nonprofits choose and install and manage the software and hardware products that we offer. Um, and uh, those services are an increasingly important part of what TechSoup provides to the nonprofit community. Um, and we also create educational opportunities, content, courses, and trainings that help nonprofit staff build their tech skills and expertise. Um, and, and in particular, we develop those courses and training, and, uh, training opportunities with a specific lens of nonprofits and folks who work at nonprofits in mind. So um, we're always trying to make things very specific for the 501c3 sector and, and not assume that the tools um, and uh, lessons and learnings out there for businesses are the same as they are for nonprofits. There are differences. Finally, like most of you, we also provide grant-based programming where we submit grant applications and we are we receive funds to engage in all sorts of uh, community building and educational and digital transformation programming, both in the US, in the United States and around the world. Um, and, and so this all together makes TechSoup almost a very complex organization to talk about. You know, we, we have the catalog, we provide these services, um, we provide some training and uh, we do our own grant-based program. It's a lot to go on in one organization. But again, as I know, most of you on this call are 501c3s as well. I think you're familiar with that need to be able to multitask and do lots of different things at your nonprofit. So let's talk about the catalog at TechSoup that's specifically available for nonprofits. And, and the first thing I want to say is to use that catalog, you have to be a qualified member of TechSoup, meaning that you have gone through the process of signing up with TechSoup um, and uh, you have provided um, you know, the proof that your 501c3 is indeed registered with the IRS. 
you know, and that you meet the basic qualifications of being a tax exempt organization. Um, one of the other things that's important to know about our catalog before we even go into the details of it is often the corporate partnerships that we have um, do put some limits around um, which types of nonprofits uh, can get particular kinds of technology. Um, and the most common limit that they'll put in place is it depends on the budget size, right? These are things called eligibility criteria. So when TechSoup talks about eligibility, um, what we're talking about generally is your nonprofit, the type of nonprofit based on the activity code or the NTEE code. Is it the right type of nonprofit to receive a piece of technology? And what budget is your nonprofit? Because um, sometimes these tech offers are only available for smaller nonprofits or only available for larger nonprofits. Um, you're going to learn more later in this presentation about how to understand that exactly. Um, but I do want to bring that up right at the front end here. So when you go to the TechSoup.org homepage, there's a product catalog link in the top navigation and this orange button, right, also in the middle of the homepage here. This takes you straight to the catalog. Um, and in the catalog, there are several big offers worth mentioning. I'm going to start with one that's been a core offer from TechSoup since when we first began. Um, and that is Microsoft. Of course, Microsoft's own technology offers have evolved over time. Like back in the day, it used to be that you could get a copy of like Windows 98 or Microsoft Office, again, like on CD-ROM, and you would load that onto a local computer. You know, we're decades past that now. Um, and most Microsoft products that we deal with are being downloaded directly over the internet. Um, the, the most popular thing that we talk about with nonprofits these days are Microsoft 365 or Office 365. This is the suite of Office tools that you're used to working with from Microsoft, like Word and Excel and PowerPoint, et cetera. But it's the modern cloud-based version, and you pay for it as a subscription versus paying for it one time. Um, we also still do provide access to what is called on-premises versions of Microsoft Office. And that means even those are downloaded directly from the internet, but they're downloaded to one computer. You use it on that computer. At a certain point, that software will fall out of date. You will have to get the newest and latest version to replace it with, especially if you're concerned about security. And everyone on this call should be concerned about security. Um, we also provide access to Microsoft's uh, Windows uh, Pro Full Operating System. You know, it's Windows 11 today is what we call that. Um, and uh, these are the basic tenets of Microsoft's offers through TechSoup, and they have been a longtime supporter and partner of ours. And you know, the overwhelming number of nonprofits we work with both in the U.S. and around the world are using Microsoft products. So if your nonprofit uses Microsoft or if you are ready to begin using Microsoft and don't know what's the best deal, how to get it, um, I invite you to engage with TechSoup directly on that. I think that we probably are the best resource for nonprofits out there. Um, and if you have specific questions around that at the moment, you can definitely drop that those questions into chat. Um, and uh, we'll try to get some answers for you. Um, Adobe is another major brand that we've partnered with for some time. And if you work in a nonprofit, particularly in the area of communications or web design or graphic design, you probably know Adobe products really well. Um, we provide individual memberships to Creative Cloud. Creative Cloud is the package of design um, products like InDesign and Illustrator and Photoshop and Dreamweaver. And, you know, again, if you're used to using those kinds of programs, you may already have a Creative Cloud membership. But if your nonprofit needs one, I encourage you to work with TechSoup to get your nonprofit a Creative Cloud membership. Um, we also have access to Acrobat Pro DC. Acrobat Pro DC is the platform that manages PDFs in particular, PDFs, portable document format, were invented by Adobe back in the day. Um, and uh, so, you know, Adobe Acrobat Pro is a pretty solid choice to manage your PDFs. Um, the latest and most exciting offer we have from Adobe in the catalog is called Adobe Express, which is a new product Adobe released onto the market over the past year. Um, Express is designed to be an easy to use 
a multi-format editor that lets you output all sorts of different media from video and audio to just regular print and online web design applications. Um, and uh, it's at the moment available to your nonprofit at a $0 admin fee through TechSoup. Um, and uh, it's sweet spot really for consumers is that if you don't have the skills and expertise to work with Adobe Creative Cloud, you might wanna try Adobe Express. It is designed to be a little easier to use. It has a lot of templates um, and uh, you know things you can use that other folks have already built to riff off of. Um, Another major partner uh, at TechSoup that lots of nonprofits lean on, especially in light of COVID and the need to be able to have a robust financial system that is not just paper and pencil in, uh, in somebody's office, um, is Intuit QuickBooks. Um, and uh, honestly, of all the things that we offer, QuickBooks, I think, is one of the most important because we do know that it's critical for nonprofits to maintain solid bookkeeping practices. QuickBooks is a great way to do that. Um, QuickBooks Online Plus is really the product that we uh, see most nonprofits going for these days. There's also an advanced version of that. Um, I do have an FAQ to QuickBooks available through this link in the deck. So when you get it tomorrow, as Aretha was saying, we sent it out the day afterwards. This link will be live in the presentation and you can click through and learn more about Intuit QuickBooks. Um, there are many other offers in the TechSoup catalog. I picked those three at the top end because they seem to be the three most popular offers that lots of nonprofits gravitate towards to. But we have a lot of other offers in the catalog um, and uh, worth pointing out that the best thing to do would be just to browse through there and see what's available and, and what it is that your nonprofit might be interested in. Um, we also provide access to hardware, um, which again, during the pandemic proved to be particularly helpful because there were such big backlogs in access to hardware for nonprofits, for everybody really. Um, but this includes access to new and refurbished laptops, desktops, servers, networking equipment, internet hotspots, smaller devices like headsets and mouses and keyboards and that kind of thing. Um, we maintain partnerships with Dell, Lenovo, and HP to access a zero, $0 admin free access to discounts and discounted catalogs. Um, Journey Ed is another major brand that we carry in the catalog that is worth nonprofits looking at. And I want to specifically call out that TechSoup has been a leader for some years now in providing access to refurbished hardware. Um, and early on, TechSoup was one of the players that said it's really not a very good environmental practice to just continuously buy brand new hardware and just throw the old hardware in the landfill. It's terrible practice for the environment and for the earth. And so uh, we were one of the early promoters of the practice of refurbishing this hardware, making sure that used hardware could still be used, um, that it was up to spec, um, able to handle whatever the modern programs were, uh, that, it, that you know the hard drives and memory cards were cleanly wiped, um, and you know, for a lower cost, you could get a refurbished unit rather than a brand new computer or laptop. Um, and that refurbished line of computers through TechSoup has been something that thousands of nonprofits have taken advantage of over the last few years. Um, the hardware tab is a little confusing and although it's a little lame to have to call out how to get there, I'm gonna do that anyway. Um, just in case that's something you're specifically interested in doing. The first thing you'd need to do is go to that product catalog tab in the top navigation. And then you'll see there on the left that there's a hardware button. You can just click on that um, and that will get you into the hardware offers available from TechSoup. As I mentioned at the top, it's not enough these days to just get new software and hardware. Sometimes the real challenge is in the back end of how do you implement that hardware or software? How do you train people to use it? How do you make sure it's configured correctly? How do you get it installed on your systems? Um, and in many cases, uh, TechSoup has a service that can help support you in that practice. And so I want to talk briefly about TechSoup services available to your nonprofit. Here we are in the 
um, services, nav menu in the, in the navigation bar at the top of the site. And, and you can just see that like, here we are, we have a series of services that are available to your nonprofit here. I'm gonna talk about some of them. Um, we have a help desk service, which is, you know, it is the, it is a small low key service designed to help nonprofits manage like one thing. So maybe you've got like a particular computer or a piece of hardware that gives you trouble here and there, and you just want some kind of contract in place with somebody to help you troubleshoot that when it happens, that's a help desk service. Um, if you're going through the process of migrating to Microsoft Office 365, there's email and data migration services that TechSoup can offer. Um, we also can support you if you are trying to install Office Standard or Pro with something called Pro Installation. Um, we have a broader service offer called Managed IT, uh, which is designed to help an IT department scope and support the full range of software and hardware within your nonprofit. So like, whereas help desk is maybe one thing, managed IT is a much broader and comprehensive look um, at the different uh, tech systems that you have and how we can support you with that. Um, and we also have under TechSoup services, something called the digital assessment tool, which is sort of a guided series of questions you can walk through and answer. Uh, to help assess and understand where your nonprofit may be performing very well digitally. For instance, perhaps you have a great digital accounting system, but it can also help you identify where you can do better. So in the same vein, maybe you've got a great digital accounting system, but your website is in really bad shape and you need help getting that sorted out, right? So the digital assessment tool helps you understand where your strengths and weaknesses are and where you can uh, where you can focus your attention to really do better in that regard. Um, one of the primary uses of technology for nonprofits is in the communications area. We have to communicate with our fellow colleagues in a nonprofit. We have to communicate with the public, sometimes with the press, sometimes with elected officials, sometimes with other nonprofits or a specific segment of folks that you serve through your nonprofit. All this communication really happens digitally now. And of course, at the center of that really is your nonprofit's website. And so more and more understanding how to support nonprofits as they build and evolve their websites is a practice that TechSoup is picking up. Um, so we have website consultation and development services that are available to nonprofits. Um, we also support nonprofits who are trying to build out their digital marketing stack. So your website is for what we call inbound traffic, people that are coming to you already. And then um, outbound marketing would be when you go out to people. So for instance, with email or direct mail or something like that, um, we can help support nonprofits as you try to understand how to do a better job around that, particularly with digital tools. Um, a lot of nonprofits take advantage of something called the Google Ad Grant Service, which is um, up to $10,000 a month in Google search advertising. There are some constraints around that, um, but nonprofits are eligible for that work, often find that it's difficult to spend the full $10,000 each month and maybe need some creative help getting that set up. So we have a service to help nonprofits pursue that. Um, we also have a Google Analytics migration service, um, which became more important earlier this year when Google switched from universal analytics to what's now called GA4. And if your nonprofit has not yet made that switch, it is really, really urgent that you start to think about how to do that now because you're losing data as of July of this year. Um, the data that you're generating is not being captured anymore. Um, there are a few other uh, services worth mentioning that we have just launched and have not made it into this slide deck. And in particular, I want to call out one, which is the .org domain service. Um, lots of folks, when they first launch a nonprofit, face the question of how do I even get a website domain registered to my nonprofit, uh, much less build a website that's going to live at that domain. Um, and working with TechSoup now, you can uh, get your .org domain for your website. And then of course, you know, we can work with you to help you figure out what you want to put on that domain as well. Um, 
But now, as I've got up on the screen, uh, I do want to talk about TechSoup courses, which is a different piece of TechSoup, which is the educational opportunities that we have available. Um, there are dozens of TechSoup courses available in the TechSoup courses platform. It's a different platform than the website itself, but you can get to it through that navigation that I showed at the top of the screen. Um, we have courses around all sorts of features. One of the biggest sets of courses we've built uh, is in conjunction with Microsoft called the Microsoft Digital Skill Center. It focuses predictably on some of the specific products that Microsoft offers. Um, so far, over 70,000 learners have used the courses at TechSoup courses. We have some that are also available in Spanish as well. As I said earlier, all specifically designed for nonprofits and anyone can actually sign up to take one of those courses if you want. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, the Digital Skills Center is a key part of that. One great example of what we do there is something called tracks, where we'll take multiple different courses and string them together. So there's a nonprofit foundational skills track. Um, and as you look at the pop tropics, sorry, as you look at the topics for each of these courses here, you know, there are different topics ranging from project management, Excel, fundraising, grant writing, email marketing, cybersecurity, all essential topics for nonprofit leadership to understand as they look at their digital stack. Uh, and you can go to TechSoup courses and learn more about that. Now, with that quick overview of a lot of dense information. I want to stop and pause now and say once again, if you've got questions, please do drop those in chat. This is a great time to start thinking about, you know, what TechSoup could really help you with. But I want to say in the big picture, one of the great things about TechSoup is um, we have live human beings who are here to help you. Um, and I'm excited to bring forward two of them. Um, the first one is Kelly Garrett, who's worked at TechSoup for many years. Um, she's associate manager of the account management group. The account management group are the folks who you interact with to like manage your own TechSoup account. Maybe there's a password reset that you need help with. Maybe the person who controlled your TechSoup account has moved on and you're trying to reestablish that account and figure out who else at your nonprofit can run it. Kelly can help you with those kinds of things. Um, after Kelly, we're going to bring in Kevin Mulhall. He's part of the customer success team. And the customer success team is focused on helping TechSoup members with specific technology that they have gotten from TechSoup. So Kelly's group helps you work with your TechSoup account. Kevin's group helps you work with the technology that you get from TechSoup. So with that, and no further um, hullabaloo, I welcome Kelly Garrett to the stage. Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a great day today. Um, happy to be here and be providing um, some information about support. Um, been trying to get through all your questions in the question answer section. Um, great to see so many questions coming through. And I will be um, highlighting where you can find product information, um, how you can get in touch with uh, customer service, which is part of client services, all that great information. Um, one thing I do want to highlight is, as Nick said at the beginning, um, this is tech, TechSoup.org is TechSoup US. It is uh, designed for supporting US organist based organizations. So if you're trying to check out with a product or a service on TechSoup.org, um, you will have to be based in the US to use those products and services. Um, I did put in on our webinar chat where you can go to find your country. Uh, we do serve most countries around the world. Um, offers do vary per region. So just something to keep in mind because I saw a lot of folks that were from outside the US, which is great. Um, we love that you're using our resources, but just want to highlight that for you. Um, <clears throat> so first things first is I do want to call out um, where you can find information for products. Um, as Nick highlighted earlier, we do have a great product catalog in the top left corner. You can use the donor company drop down to see which companies um, we are partnered with. Um, category is a great place to go as well um, to find, you know, are you looking for security software? Are you looking for grant management? And we've got great categories there. And then hardware is our other cat uh, catalog that um, some people were asking about printers, things like that. 
great place to get started is the hardware catalog. We usually offer stuff along those lines, but we also partner with people that have um, hardware catalogs for nonprofits off of our website that you can get access to. Most are actually free to access um, or there may be a small five, $10 fee. So just something to keep in mind is we've got those great options in the top left corner once you've selected our product catalog. Now, once you've gone through the donor or company dropdowns, um, or the category and you find a product that you're interested in. Um, I always like to show QuickBooks Online Plus. It is a very popular product. Um, and people ask me, oh, you know, how do I know about the subscription, the details, what's going on with it? And so we do have three tabs listed here and it's on every single product page or offer page. Um, and each one, the description and the rules, eligibility and restrictions are always there. The middle tab can be labeled different things depending on the product. You know, if it's an access to discounted rate, um, if it's a subscription that you get through TechSoup, if um, uh, it could be uh, details and service costs, things along those lines. So I always recommend making sure to click through all three tabs and thoroughly reviewing the information. It answers most questions that members have that they reach out to us for. And then also um, it's really important you understand what you're requesting because most products and services have a no refund or exchange policy. So you want to make sure you're absolutely clear on what you're getting, you're confident in what you're getting before you fully check out and provide payment. Uh, next slide, please. Perfect. So um, if you are looking for support, as I said, going to the offer page and looking up information there is a really great place to start. We also have a fantastic TechSoup support um, page, which you access by clicking the help at the top right corner of TechSoup.org. Um, this will provide take you to our TechSoup support page. Um, which has our FAQs, we've got things about eligibility, Microsoft questions, things along those lines that's great to um, go to and check first. Um, if again, you don't have find the answers that you're looking for on these two resources, you can always then reach out to our customer service. Uh, next slide. So this is the TechSoup support page. Um, it does have a search feature and then it also has all these topics here. Um, so great thing to kind of click through, become familiar with your, um, with your account, getting information about eligibility, because one thing to keep in mind is that um, if, as, well, it's required to be a 501c3 nonprofit or a public library to join TechSoup and be qualified, that doesn't mean you'll be eligible for every single program. Um, a partner of ours lets us know what their eligibility criteria is, um, and then we go ahead and assign people organization types, which will dictate what programs you're eligible for. Um, budget can also affect your eligibility, um, things along those lines. Um, so something to keep in mind is that if you go and try to check out and it's saying you're not eligible, it's not talking about your tax exempt status, it's probably talking about your mission and activities or your budget or sometimes your location. Um, some play times territories are not eligible for stuff versus mainland and vice versa. So just something to keep in mind. And you can usually find the answers here in your TechSoup support um, page. Uh, next question, please. Um, perfect. So if you do need support, you've gone through all the resources, you're not finding your answer, we are here to help Monday through Friday. Um, you just want to go to the bottom of any page on TechSoup.org and select the Contact Us option. And then you'll be taken to our contact us page. Next slide, please. Perfect. So on our contact us page, it's a great place to go to see what our hours currently are. We have our phone number listed. Um, we also have a live chat option. Both are um, supported by real people, real account management specialists. They are on the chat. They are on the phones. It's not an AI. We don't do robots here. It is real people. So something to keep in mind with the live chat is that you are talking to a live person and it's not an AI robot just asking you questions. So we'll be able to give you great support. Um, and again, we do have our uh, phone number for you if you would like to speak to us over the phone. Uh, next slide, please. Um, so here are hours. This is also on the contact us page. You can easily go to at any point. Um, we are Monday through Friday. That's when our hours are. Um, Monday through Thursday is when you can give us um, a chat during 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Fridays, we have it open all day long from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific. We are located on the West Coast. So it is something to keep in mind that this is Pacific time. If you're in a different time zone, and you're having trouble reaching us, make sure you're double checking that you're in the Pacific uh, time zone hours. 
Um, phones also available uh, Monday through Thursday. We do not offer it on Fridays. We focus on our live chats and registrations and things like that, but we are here and open on Fridays. Um, so Monday through Friday, you can definitely get in touch with us um, and it will be a live person and representative. So something to keep in mind with client services is client services is customer service. We are not IT support. We're not product trained, things along those lines. So for example, we can assist you with accessing your TechSoup account, updating some information. We can answer your eligibility questions. We can help you navigate the resources and requesting products on TechSoup.org. Um, and we only serve US-based organizations. So if you do have issues, make sure you're going to your country's website and going through their contact us page um, so that you're getting support for your region. Um, what we can't assist with is IT support, product support, in-depth product functionality questions. We are partnered with a ton of uh, companies and we can't become experts on every single product and service that they offer. We do have general information we can provide you, but if you need some in-depth functionality questions answered, probably best to contact the company that created it. So for example, Intuit owns QuickBooks Online. It's the exact same product on the market. So you would contact Intuit for in-depth questions. If you need help creating reports, um, transferring data, that kind of thing, they would be able to assist you because it's their products and their representatives are trained to provide support. We also have the great TechSoup services as Nick uh, mentioned earlier. Um, something to keep in mind is we are not giving that support. Um, I saw someone mention in one of the questions, why am I going to Tech Impact? Tech Impact is our IT partner. It's one of a couple that we have. Basque's another one. So when you're getting your TechSoup services, keep in mind, you're going to be getting a fulfillment email. And it's going to tell you who, what company you're working for and how you're going to get in touch with them. And they will be the ones to provide support. Um, so just to, so there's no confusion, if you call us and say, I need you to download and install this, we're probably going to direct you towards TechSoup services or to the company that created um, the product um, or service. So something to keep in mind. But we are happy to answer questions, point you in the right direction as we can, um, provide as much support as possible. Um, we're in the nonprofit sector because we love nonprofits and we love our customers and we really wanna make sure our members and everybody's happy as much as we can. So we look forward to working with you. Great, thank you so much, Kelly. Um, and now I want to bring forward um, Kevin Mulhall, who's part of our uh, customer success team. Uh, and like I said, again, just to reiterate the difference here, what Kevin and Kevin's team work on is helping you with the actual tech products that you would get through TechSoup. Um, and so, you know, if you have, if you've gotten a product that makes you a customer specifically, and then we're trying to help make you successful with that product. Um, and so Kevin Mulhall, welcome. Great to see you. Great to see you too, Nick. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so as Nick and uh, Kelly um, brought up, we're we're part of the same um, puzzle, but we're not the same piece. Uh, we, um, as was mentioned, um, there are questions like surrounding technology, um, like specific technologies, functionalities, and features. That is not uh, necessarily the purview of um, the uh, customer service team. Uh, that's where we would uh, be able to come in the customer success team uh, and help you with that. I'll just give a quick little background on us. Um, our team of six uh, have a combined 20 years of experience helping nonprofits. Um, again, to reiterate, uh, products and services that are available uh, to nonprofits, uh, we are able to consult uh, on that. We don't consider it actually technically consulting. We consider it more advising. Um, because these are value added services that we offer at no cost. Um, you have a question, for example, about whether Microsoft or Workspace makes the most sense for you. We can get on a call with you and we can explain to you the advantages of disadvantages of working with each product. Um, and we can do that because of those indicated in the next bullet. Um, we have a team of certified individuals, myself, Microsoft and AWS, um, my colleague, direct colleague, Tony Piffs, uh, who may be on a future session, um, is also Microsoft and AWS certified, a former sysadmin. Uh, we are there to ask the basic questions, but to really quick to that point, we, uh, and speaking to Tech Impact, we are not a managed advisory service. We can help you identify things through technology auditing, um, lifecycle management, uh, where certain things are needed, but we do not de deploy uh, full assistance 
uh, on those. We have partners that do that, and we are happy to help triage your needs directly to them um, once we've identified them. Uh, as this matrix kind of shows, there's several different things we do on top of the technology audited. We do requests for proposals and scopes of work. That's what those acronyms are. Um, grant and fundraising strategy uh, development work. Um, we don't do grant writing, um, but we can help identify where there are potential sources in, of funding um, and then strategize on best practices uh, to make your organization um, as appealing as possible to, to new grantees. Um, we also obviously having our network and our connections, uh, we have the ability to help facilitate um, certain needs uh, that organizations have in a, in a, in a more streamlined uh, function because we are a small team and we are operating in a more one-to-one -one, uh, capacity. Uh, so again, that's what customer success kind of does in a nutshell. So the general support would be the customer success team, the product question supports, um, those types of things. Um, we could actually, our team could be brought into those uh, to help uh, provide support and insight into the products and services in our catalog. All right, super, Kevin, thank you so much. Well, that gives us to the very end of our slideshow presentation here. But before we conclude the webinar, I, I do want to say like from the bottom of my heart, like, thank you. Um, every single person on this call has made a conscious decision to work in the nonprofit sector. Um, usually out of a real altruistic desire to make the world a better place, to help your local community, to engage in some kind of service or support um, for folks who really need your help, for community groups that need your help. Um, that's why all of us work at TechSoup as well. Um, and I, I really do feel that the nonprofit movement, both in the U.S. and then civil society broadly around the world, it is a legitimate social movement of people who are really trying to help and make the world a better place. So I want to thank you, each of you, for your participation in that process. Um, TechSoup is a constantly evolving organization, like most nonprofits. Um, and at the core of our existence is this mission to help you. That is really central to what we do and why we do it. Um, and so if there are things that don't appear in this presentation today or things in the catalog that you think would be helpful um, for nonprofits to have access to, you should let us know. Um, we have a great set of offers for nonprofits to take advantage of. We're always trying to increase what we are able to offer to nonprofits. Um, but I do hope today's overview has been helpful. And again, if you've had a chat uh, question, I uh, hope we managed to get that answered for you. Um, but most importantly, if you've not already gone through the process of getting your nonprofit qualified with TechSoup, please do do that. Go to that join link at the top right corner of the homepage, get that rolling with TechSoup. And then once that process has taken place, um, you are eligible in most cases to start using that catalog. Uh, get the technology products that your nonprofit can benefit from the most. Um, and as I say, because we're also an organization of life human beings who are here to help you, if you've got questions and need help with that, you can just let us know and we'll step in as best we can. So with that, I want to say thanks to everybody for joining today. Thanks so much, Kevin and Kelly and Aretha for running this webinar with me today. Um, appreciate you all um, and have a wonderful rest of your day.